Hello and welcome to Mixed Book Studio. I am so excited to show you how to make an incredible photo book full of your favorite memories right here on Mixed Book. Let's get started. We have thousands of themes. These themes give you a cohesive set of background designs, stickers, and fonts to help ensure continuity across pages. And for the super creatives out there, the blank theme might be more your style. Either way, projects are fully customizable once you get into Mixed Book Studio. So the first thing you're going to want to do is add photos to your project. You can add photos from a variety of different sources, adding from your desktop, adding from your phone, or you can add photos from different social media sources and past projects. There is even an option to invite friends to edit your project so they can easily upload their own photos. To add photos from your desktop, select add from desktop. Now select the images or the folder that has your images and select open. To add photos from your mobile device, select add from phone. This is cool, you just open your phone's camera app and place the QR code below in frame to generate the upload link on your mobile device and follow the instructions. If you're having trouble scanning the QR code, you can send a link by email. Just make sure to open the email and link on your mobile device and follow the instructions. You can also take this opportunity to download the Mixbook mobile app, which is another easy way to access the photos on your phone. The app lets you create projects and make changes from anywhere. Now let's go over how to place photos. The easiest way to place images into your photo book is to click auto create. We analyze all the photos you've uploaded to your project and put them into a logical order across multiple pages. Give it a try. You can always click undo or move photos around as needed. To place individual images in your project, simply drag and drop the desired image from the photo tray onto a photo box on your page. You will see that the photos instantly snap into place. You can also select multiple photos and drag them onto a page. We also recommend clicking hide use photos right here. So as you place photos into your project, they're removed from your photo bank. This helps ensure you don't duplicate photos. Let's go over layouts now. The layouts tab is available to give you more photo box layout options for your project. You'll see layout options broken out by pages and spreads. Spreads are layouts that span across two pages. Within spreads, you will find some layout options where photos actually cross the page binding. These are ideal for lay flat books. To jump to different layout options, pick from the number of photos option at the top. You can also browse recommended layouts to discover what we think will work best with your specific photos and chosen theme. We analyze your selected theme, how many photos you have, and the orientation of the photos in order to provide the best recommendations. We want your best photos to be featured in a way that makes them shine. For example, we won't include layouts with vertical photo slots if your photos are all horizontal. Now if you go to themes, you can explore the different layout options for your selected theme. These won't take into consideration your photo specifics. Choose one of our basic spread layouts, then add your photos and favorite design elements to make it one of a kind. Check your favorites to find every spread layout that you've ever favorited, even from other projects. Now to change layouts, first click your page, you'll see it highlighted in purple, then click the desired layout from the layout tray. We're on to editing photos now. To adjust your photo within the box, click and hold the four pointed arrow and use your mouse to adjust the placement. You can also crop or resize each individual photo box on your page by clicking on a photo, then dragging the small purple boxes surrounding the image. Now, if you'd like to rotate your photo, click to select the photo and grab and rotate using the rotate icon above your image. And if you want to swap images on your page, simply drag and drop a new photo onto an existing photo box and you will see that the image is replaced. The original image is dropped right back into your photo tray. When you resize images to be symmetrical with your layout, you will see that we have yellow alignment guides that snap objects into place to ensure that your images are lined up perfectly. If you don't want images lined up, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to fine tune and nudge objects in any given direction. And here's a tip, hold the shift key along with your arrow keys to nudge objects across a greater distance. To place photos on the edge, make sure your photo box snaps to and hits the yellow dotted line. Your undo and redo buttons work across any actions you make in Mixbook Studio. And if you're wondering what this box of icons is that pops up under your photo, it's the photo adjustment toolbar. Click on your photo to activate the editing toolbar. Here you can slide the zoom in and zoom out buttons to crop your image to your liking. Be careful though, if you zoom in too much, you may get a low resolution warning. If you do, zoom out a bit until the red warning disappears. Let me show you the other options. The fill page tool will fill your entire page with one image. The rotate tool flips your photo 90 degrees each click clockwise. The flip tool mirrors your image and the edit tool is great. It allows for simple photo editing. You can add borders, you can add a drop down shadow to photos. You can add a fun filter to your image. You can adjust the brightness, saturation, and contrast of your photo. 
You can adjust the opacity and change the shape of your photo box. You can always hit the reset button to change your photo back to the original and if you're working on a page that has multiple photos like this one, you can apply any photo edits you make to all pages by clicking apply to all. Okay, now moving on to the swap tool, clicking this will swap one existing photo on your spread for another without moving the boxes. And now the span tool can help place your photo over the gutter if you want to have the photo continue onto the following page. This allows you to bring the photo over without content being cut off. The half span selection places the photos against the gutter of the book's binding edge. And the forward and back buttons can bring images forward or send them behind other objects. Then you'll see the remove button. This deletes your photo and if you click it again, it will delete your photo box. Now if at any time you find yourself unhappy with your chosen theme, here is how you can change it. Click themes on the left. From here, you can explore other themes broken out by occasion. You can even explore with your previously uploaded photos. If you find a theme you like better, click apply theme. It's as easy as that. Now, if you're wondering if you can change your background, yes, you can. There are four options available and they are recommended backgrounds, project backgrounds, upload backgrounds, and searching for backgrounds in our design library. To apply a different background, click the page you want to change. Once highlighted in purple, select your new background from the backgrounds tray. If you'd like a solid color background, click the color option above and choose a solid color. Now to search for a background, click the purple drop down menu where it says all to set a filter. You can search by style, type, or theme to get extra specific results. Include a keyword and hit enter on your keyboard to see the results. If you see a background that you like, make sure that your page is selected by clicking on it, then clicking on the background you'd like to apply. And to add your own background, select Upload Background, then the Upload Backgrounds tab and follow the instructions. Let's get into how to add stickers because this is fun. The Stickers tab allows you to browse and place stickers on your pages. There are seven ways you can add stickers and they include searching by shape, browsing through your past favorited stickers, upload your own sticker, or by searching within the project, theme, or recommended stickers. To place a sticker, drag it from the sticker tray onto your page. You can resize your sticker by clicking on it, then dragging the purple boxes surrounding the image. If you select your sticker, you'll see editing tools. The flip tool mirrors the sticker. The color tool can customize the color of your sticker. The edit tool allows you to edit your sticker. You can add drop shadows, color effects, adjust the brightness, saturation, and contrast of your sticker, adjust the opacity, and the span tool can place your sticker over the gutter if you want to have the sticker continue on the following page. The half span selection places a sticker against the center gutter. Please note that we don't recommend spanning a sticker across a spread if your photo book is not a lay flat book. The forward and back buttons can bring stickers forward or send them behind other objects, and the remove button deletes your sticker completely. To add your own sticker, select Upload Sticker, then the Upload Stickers tab, and follow the instructions. Now let's go over adding text. To add text to your page, click the Text tab on the left. Click Add Text and place your text box in your desired location. Now click the text box to begin typing. To edit your font style, click the text so the box is highlighted in purple. Here you'll be able to select from a variety of fonts, adjust the text size, change text color, Make your text bold or italic, set the text alignment in your text box, and bring your text box to the front or behind other objects. To move your text box, click the text so your box is highlighted in purple. Click and drag to place your box elsewhere. Text boxes can also be aligned using our snap grids. You'll love this feature. I'm now going to show you how to share your project. This share button at the top of Mixbook Studio allows you to share a digital preview of your project with friends and family. You can invite additional collaborators to help complete the project with you, or you can send someone else an order link. Just choose your preferred sharing method and enter their email addresses or copy and paste the unique link available. Now here's some extra tips and tricks to remember when working in Mixbook Studio to make your experience even easier. Okay, so if you'd like to maximize your workspace, click the full screen option at the top left corner. Click it once more to return to original workspace. To zoom in on your workspace, use the zoom tool at the top left. If you'd like to focus your workspace on one page versus a spread, select the single page icon next to the zoom option. To view your spread, choose the spread icon. 
To view all your pages and spreads at once, open your spread view on the right-hand side of Mixbook Studio. Here you can rearrange spreads, delete them, duplicate them, and move individual pages. To rearrange spreads, grab the purple dotted icon in the center and drag the spread into the desired position. Click the purple dotted icon to see the various options, including copy, duplicate, and delete. To move individual pages, click the purple dotted icon on the single page. When you drag it to a new position, these two pages will swap locations. To add pages, click Add Pages at the top of your screen. You can add a blank spread, a pre-designed theme spread, or duplicate the current spread you're in. Although Mixbook Studio autosaves after a minute, you can save your project at any time by clicking Save at the top. If the button is grayed out, that means your project has saved itself. If you have any questions or need assistance, access our help page and live chat in the bottom left corner of your screen. You can now choose Preview to view your project outside of Mixbook Studio, and when you're ready to order, choose Order. Hopefully now you feel confident to jump into Mixbook Studio and start creating your story. And don't hesitate to reach out to hello at mixbook.com for help or comment below with your questions. Thanks for watching!